Hello and welcome back to Drive Driver Driven. I'm Humble and we're back again on the Blue Unicorn Project. Uh, this time around, while I'm working on wiring, my friend Kuiper here is actually working on the body. Now, the one thing on the body, we have to paint the underside to both uh, protect it, but it also helps, uh, I don't know, uh, it changes the way that the light uh, reflects and refracts through the panel. And uh, it, it seems to turn up the saturation in the color a little bit. Um, that's something I've mentioned before and something I mentioned on the previous body when I was building the Evo. And uh, Kuiper was hard at work yesterday while I was working on wiring and he's doing the same again today. So uh, while I'm poking around at the car, what I'll do is I'll set up the camera to show what he's doing. But uh, let me show you what he's working on right now. So here's the first of the uh, side pods that he did yesterday. Um, as you can see, we got the the kind of black uh, primer coat on the, the panel. Again, this is just to help seal and protect. Um, we'll come back and around the edges, I'll touch these up all later. But if we go around to the sunny side of the panel, the blue just seems more saturated. Uh, uh, the color just seems richer to my eyes than when the panel is open and clear in the back uh, previously. And then uh, here's Kuiper Hard at work actually taping off the nose. Again, same thing, just protect all the edges, all the painted surfaces. Uh, down here around the headlight buckets, we're actually, um, they are uh, real carbon fiber this time. As you can see here, you don't want any of this really thin primer to, to seep down in there. So he's doing an excellent job of taping everything off to make sure that we don't get any drips or runs where there shouldn't be. So I'll set you guys up with a view and uh, we'll watch Kuiper get the nose all painted up. And uh, I'm going to continue to slave away in the garage on the wiring harness. Um, not much to look at there really. Uh, wiring and painting, uh, there's not a whole lot to see while the paint's drying and the wiring is being done so i'll leave you guys to it and we'll come back in a bit All right, fast forward a bit. Uh, Kuiper's gone home, but uh, again, huge thanks to him for knocking these out. But let me show you what he did, and then I'll show you what I did. Kuiper went through and um, did an awesome job getting these uh, all, it's basically a, like a black primer that goes on the, the back here. Covered every surface, really. Um, all up in here, all up across the vent. So everything's blacked out. I mean, it looks fantastic. Next up under the nose, up in the wheel well area, is uh, those are gonna be hit with uh, some undercoating to protect the fiberglass from uh, rock chips. Um, ditto for the rear here, uh, in the wheel well in this area. Um, and then a little bit back here, will also be uh, hit with that protective uh, rubberized paint to uh, 
help keep, uh, again, rocks from uh, cracking the fiberglass, uh, which was a problem before. Um, it would chip out the back of the, the, the rear clamshell. Did a pretty good job on all the little fiddly areas down and around the NACA ducks, up around in the corners. All these edges, most of these are done, but some of them, like around in this area that's taped, um, I'll go back over later with a uh, black paint pen and that just sharpens up all the corners and makes it look like a more finished product. Um, as for what I've been up to, <clears throat> it doesn't look like a whole lot actually, but uh, on the rear, I have my fog light mounted. This is a, a Cartec FIA fog light. And what I'm gonna do is just mount it on the back of the transmission here with a nice bracket. I modified our rear harness. This is the Ultima harness. And instead of the old connectors, I've replaced it with a single uh, Deutsch connector that will be plugged into the new harness. I also did a mini, kind of a mini harness for our fog light. I ran <laughs> even more wires uh, to complete our rear circuits. So um, I brought back our front rear turn signals, our 12 volt, um, our uh, ignition and DRL, because these have a, uh, a feature when you first turn on the car, it goes through an animation, and uh, then there's a shutoff animation when you turn off the car. Uh, and then lastly, there's different functions for DRL or side light or what have you, and reverse light, uh, all packed into the, the single tail light. So I ran all the wires for those features. I got our fuel pump done, our tank sender done, this explosion of mess continues to get worse. Uh, up in this area, I've done our, our buttons. So these are for the steering wheel buttons, the Raptor switches. Those are ready to go now. Our side light is done. And then there's some more lines run across for other dash features, like our digital dash, our aim dash is wired now. Um, I ran some wires for our warning lights under there. So uh, those will be ready and uh, did some work on the other side. So this is our, our main AC block. Um, it's not mounted yet, but this guy is going to sit right here. And then our power and ground will come off of that forward. These are our uh, power and ground lines for the ECU for the engine. And those will be wrapped up in the front here. Uh, so I'm going to have uh, two main relays. I'm not sure if I talked about them yet, but... Uh, I've got them sort of set up here. <clears throat> These are TE 150 amp relays. So once I turn the key on, uh, it grounds the low voltage wire, which closes the relays and provides power to uh, the AC unit and ECU. And then the other one provides power to the, the main power, the PDM and the power steering. And then when I key off, all those systems are shut down, which effectively shuts down the whole car. The only reason these are needed is because the PDM cannot power the, the high amperage circuits that those four particular items need. So uh, that's why I needed to get these guys. And they're going to sit up in the firewall up on this area with our main kill switch, which will uh, kill the power line that feeds those and the alternator in the rest of the car. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at for, for wiring. So uh, thanks to uh, Kuiper again for helping out. Uh, got a lot done and doesn't look like I got a lot done, but uh, wiring is just a headache that never ends. I'm gonna continue to make progress on this. Uh, I have a deadline by the end of the month, really. So uh, we're gonna keep chipping away at it. Uh, now that the body's painted though, uh, I can get it prepared for final assembly, which is uh, putting the, the sound deadening in, putting the heat insulation in, and then putting the final uh, wiring sublooms in where they belong uh, so that those parts are just bolt-in pieces and uh, ready to go. Uh, with that, uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.